you guys it is day two Tuesday May 9th I woke up this morning and you guys had already left so many comments and I've written back to majority of them I will make sure to get to all of them for the end of the 24-hour period I'll still comment on ones later but uh, thank you to the ones who've gotten their comments in in the first 24 hours because you guys are entered into the $100 Amazon giveaway that'll happen next Monday. Um, if you're new to whatever I'm talking about, again, I'll link it above, but leave a comment on any of these Green Smoothie Challenge videos within 24 hours, and uh, you'll be entered in to win. Somebody did ask, so I'll clarify, it's one entry per video per channel. But if you, like, have a family or a spouse or a sibling or somebody, they can comment too and they can enter themselves as well. Um, I did show you guys uh, how I make my smoothies this morning. You guys got to see the flaxseed gets ground up first because I didn't buy ground flaxseed because I'm special. Ground flaxseed goes in first and then three cups of water and spinach followed by the fruit and then I do add a scoop of protein powder uh, just so it kind of fills me up. The protein powder and the flax seeds they really help um, keep me fuller longer. Uh, the hard time is really just between, I would say, 2 p.m. and 8 p.m. That is the difficult time. That is my prime snacking hour. That's when I typically want to lay in front of the TV and snack and not do anything, but I'm changing that habit. I've never actually been out in this park two days in a row, but we are going strong. And if you saw yesterday's vlog, the thing that upset me the most is that I did not get my steps in. So I'm out here with a coat on. I know we're doing it right today. Um, so we're going to do our steps now and I guess that's it. Let's check our steps. Let's see where we are. 870 steps. I'm going to walk out here for about 20 minutes and I will check back with you guys then. On today's Tuesday agenda, after work, I just have uh, one student coming over for a piano lesson and then today we're going to be cleaning the living room and the family room. I am waiting for the least favorite room of all until probably Thursday, which is my guest bedroom closet. That has become the room where everything I don't want to deal with, I just put in the guest bedroom, specifically the closet. For those that have moved like into a home home, what room did you guys use as like your toss it away room? Let me know down below. Because for me, it's the guest bedroom closet because I rarely have to see it unless I want to. Um, also, somebody asked if this is the first accountability series I've done on this channel, and it's not. Uh, last year, I think right about a year ago, I used the month of May to get out of credit card debt and I did a series called Paper Over Plastic, which I'll link here, and it was specifically a one month period that I hid my credit and debit card and lived specifically off of a cash only diet and I showed like auditioning for musicals and doing my nails and just whatever I needed to do to not spend money. And I think I gave myself $100 a week for gas groceries than anything else that came into my path and I think I managed to pay off all that debt because I don't have that credit card anymore. 
it was a nice little challenge to say, okay, here's your set amount of spending cash for the week. Do what you will. And again, if you want to see it, I've already linked it up in the cards. If you want to check out really old Kristen video, like super old filming on an iPhone 4, check that out. Also, and lastly, before I finish this walk, I know this is not normally what I put on this channel. I know this channel is mainly lifestyle and finance and vlogging and travel and a little bit of health here and there, but I've never actually used it as like accountability to lose weight and get in shape and feel better. So for those of you guys that are, that's a scary bird. For those of you guys that are on track, you know, to help out and leave comments and be supportive. Thank you guys. And if it's not your cup of tea, if you want to wait around for something else more in like your niche or interest to come off this channel, that's fine as well. But for now, I'm going to finish this walk and head back in and have lunch and get this day done. I will check my steps at the end of this walk and I will share that with you as well. All right, the walk is over, and our morning step, drum roll is, can you guys see it? 4,308 steps, and it's not even noon. That's more than we had yesterday, and I promised myself we will get to 10,000 today. All right, so I'm back in the office. I got a lot of stuff done here. Still have a few hours before um, I'll head home. If you guys are following me on Instagram, and I highly recommend that you do, I'm going to try to post like small achievements each day or at least one post a day about the smoothie challenge. I did one yesterday and then I'm going to post one today of the park. I also am going to go back outside for another half hour because I am so determined to get those steps in. I think I'm going to bribe myself. If I can get three days of covering 10,000 steps, I will let myself on Friday morning, which means I have to do it Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it's gotta be these next three days, so Friday will roll around. I'm gonna let myself get a plain cold brew coffee. No cream, no sugar, no whipped cream, nothing, just the coffee. Um, it has five calories and it's not terrible for you, but it'll be kind of like my treat for getting those steps in and continuing on the smoothie cleanse. Speaking of Starbucks, I'm actually going today, not to get anything for myself, but if you remember a few weeks back, I did a Starbucks giveaway. I have to go buy her gift card and write her a thank you note and send that, even though she lives here in Columbus. I told you, girl, I'm gonna go get your coffee card. You know what's weird, and I never crave this kind of food and I rarely eat it? Indian food. I would love to go down to like a Cafe Istanbul or one of those Indian restaurants. That's weird. I never had cravings like that, but that's all I want right now. Almost done with the lunch smoothie. I'm on my third bottle of water, gonna go do my walk, and I will report back at the end of the day with my steps I've taken and my final four questions of the day. Oh, after today, we are 40% there. We did it. We barely did it, but we hit 10,000 steps. All right, we made it through Tuesday. I am currently finishing the last of today's smoothie. In today's smoothie we had the flaxseed, protein powder, spinach, banana, pineapple, blueberry, and a touch of raspberry. So today's smoothie looked a little bit more like blue or kind of looking brown with the green. That's because of the darker berries, but this one was good. I like it if they have at least a blueberry or a strawberry that complement the pineapple. One, how I'm feeling, a lot more energized than yesterday. Uh, at the end of the day yesterday, I got a lot of comments from you guys that said I looked really tired and they, you guys questioned if this was a safe activity because of the deficit of calories, but today I feel a lot better. I did put a full scoop of protein powder in the smoothie today, which really helped, and the flaxseed, the protein helped that as well. Accomplishment for the day, I would definitely say finally hitting 10,000 steps. That is an accomplishment in itself. If I can hit 10,000 steps tomorrow, which is Wednesday and Thursday, I will go to Starbucks on Friday and just get a plain cold brew coffee. That's gonna happen. Upcoming challenge. Tomorrow night I have rehearsal, so the temptation of late night eating will be back and I'm going to actually pack all three smoothies for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. 
so that everything is prepared. There's no excuse to not eat what I have brought with me. And how many steps did I take, which you already saw, as 10,073 steps covering 4.4 miles. So we did it. Anyway, that is all for today. Have a great Tuesday, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you.